Hey, what's up my friends? Welcome back to our ongoing YouTube coverage of the 2021 CrossFit Games. It is Thursday, day one for the teams, and it's a beach day. That's why I knocked off the sleeves even though it's overcast. So much has happened already. A full day of competition for individuals, but now Rich Roney and CrossFit Mayhem Freedom get to take it on. They're starting with a swim and a kayak. Let's go watch. Christopher, how's it going? Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Chase, you guys have a good plan? Ish, I mean, it's just it's girl pairs and guy pairs and just go. Basically, the only place you have to wait is at the finish. Yeah. So. But as far as drafting and stuff on the boat, have you guys... If we're close enough, we'll draft. But if not, it's just kind of get through. Sure, I watch you on the spin, stay as close as I can. I mean, I don't think any team here has... There's probably three or four teams that have four good swimmers, but... Yes. Taylor's competent in the water. Like she's not going to be super fast, but she's. Hey, lift them up. 8:30 to 8:40, the men are going to have an opportunity to get in the water. From 8:40 on, it will be only the women in the water. Again, 8:30 to 8:40, the men will be in the water. 8:40 on, it is only women in the water. Are you nervous at all? <coughs> no. <laughs> Maybe like right, right before we start, I'll probably get like a spark of, you know, but I always hear horror stories of like when you first start, people like swimming on top of you and pulling you back. Yeah. Have you ever experienced yeah, that? It's gonna happen. Yeah. She's it's me. Seat. I'm the one getting getting trampled. But, yeah. That's why I wish it was longer, and I actually wish it was way choppier, and I wish it was raining. I wish there was lightning and people were scared. I also well, wish there were sharks. I don't want the lightning. Oh, so None of these things affect me. I She's like, where's she at? And I'm like, she's right there. She's like, she's like, I can't see her. I was like, I, well, I just wanted to know when to put my goggles on. Yeah. And I kept saying, like, Taylor, Taylor. And then she got close. I was like, oh, my God. I, hit her with <laughs> I think I ran until I got out of breath and I was getting tired. So I was like, I'll swim I, I was now. like, I was out of breath. I ran until I was here. And then I swam <laughs> harder than like my heart rate was way high, higher than it's ever been I on a swim. I was like, sadly tired. <laughs> Did the choppiness affect you at all? Choppier it was the nice better. coming back. Yeah. It was nice coming back. You could, like feel the wave. Yeah, did you get to wave? The paddle out side? was terrible. Yeah. And then coming back was nice. I, my lats and forearms are a little uh, I mean yeah. Mine are really bad for Good and warmed up now. Ready to bar muscle up. That is the warm up. I'll show you some of the ways I'm thinking about some of these things really quickly because I hate warming up, dirty secret, I hate it. I try to warm up all day long so that I'm not then having to warm up. And then simultaneously, you know, how do we stack these behaviors so we can have better workouts, better outcomes? So what I want to do is appreciate that because we're laying down, all I've done is taken your brain and body out of gravity. Part of what we're trying to do with our warm ups is to remind our bodies what we should be able to do. We're trying to just kind of clean out the cobwebs out of the corners of ready state. How we address soft tissue dysfunction is that we identify sensitivity to compression. That's all it is. If nothing is wrong. If it hurts your calves or they're feeling ropey, you don't have calf cancer, sir. It's possible, but it's unlikely. But suddenly we can integrate that brain into this and there's that breathing piece again. And now we have a cogent system where we understand that one thing is helping everything. Does that make sense? That's all I got for you. I'm not gonna talk anymore. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for the army. Is that right, guys?
Yeah, this is from Because I thought I would be fine like with that comic without pants. Turns out my grip got really tired. It ended up just coming down and I'm like, hey, what? Using your Haley's like a, you're like a losing skin specialist. Is it from the kayak? Dude, you're a kayaker. Have you ever seen like beauty source? Yeah. Oh wow. Haley? Oh, Haley? Oh, no. That's from the kayak? I got one on the side too. I'm not going to say I was losing my mind, but it was the first time in the history of the world when my sport was in the CrossFit Games, and I didn't feel like it was a great representation. It's always me. Maybe your sensitivity is your secret superpower. Maybe. You feel more than Because I'm like looking around and asking, hey, is this a skull? Is it rash? As soon as she came out of the water. I know. She was right behind me and I was like, oh. Oh, that's when you saw it like immediately. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Tell me what happened during the shower last night. Water went down. Oh, yeah. And you, you scream a little bit. I learned from the first time. When I had these, I put hot water on them and it hurt all night. Like, I was in pain. It just was hot. Right. Because it is like a burn. Yeah. So like when I put like, like scalding hot water on it, it burned all night long. So last night I put it on like a coat or two, and our room's hot anyway, so it's fine. And um, that way it wouldn't burn and you know, could throb all night. But now it's probably just gonna get infected. No, it's gonna be fine. I wish the lake water helped. The best was sure. Rory being like, he just has a snack it's, for burning skin fine. off her body. Like, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I saw Rich's text with his uh, advice for eating. For eating? You posted it? I get back to my phone and it says 17 messages. Yeah. That's fine. Is that being okay? And he just says that course, course, course. What do you got there, dude? I uh, got me a new Callaway set. Here, let me pull it up. Uh, you gonna work on your swing while we're yeah, here? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I figured I'd, you know, work on my, work on my slice a little bit. I got a three. I got a three wood right here. <laughs> And then I have a seven iron, so I can work on my uh, mid-range game. And then a little bit of putting action going here. Don't putt from the rough. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. This is what you get for uh, 10 years of coaching. This was my uh, mayhem gift. Oh, was that this parting gift? Yeah, 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 parting gift. No gold gift. watch, huh? Yeah, this is when Rich didn't ask me to coach him. This is what he gave me. <laughs> Actually, spray that again. Oh, no, we need to evacuate. Look at this wind. That's true. And the sirens are going off. What do you think that is about? About about 200 yards. Oh, I can't see it. Where'd it go? Oh, that's a practice swing. Hard. Get the hole. Get down. Get the hole. Get down. Wow. Life's on. Wow. Mm. AJ, mm. this is not my day. We're back in the North Park for team events two and three. We're back in the North Park for team events two and three. What are they? What are they? <laughs> you just said to say what you said. <laughs> How about this be like, hey, what's up, Mayhem? Welcome to the North Park. This is events two and three. Hey, what's up, Mayhem? Welcome to the North Park. This is events two and three. If you are not at North Park, you should be. Do I look like such a dude? I did exactly what you were saying. How you put it out. You did a group there, right? All right, this time a little bit of spirit, guys. We're back in the North Park. Events two and three are coming up. We got high volume gymnastics, and we're gonna be pushing these bobs, pulling these bobs back and forth. Mayhem Freedom's on a roll, and they're just gonna continue here. First three events in the team competition. Rich, your gym has individual championships, team championships, age group championships. Why is your program so effective? Uh, we should have good people. Good uh, support group. Mayhem Nation. Um, and then just really good athletes around all the time. Three events down. Three events down. down. We have, uh, we have uh, a few more to go for the, the rest of the competition. How is it shaping up for you guys, how your bodies feel after the first three events with uh, the weekend to come? Uh, with the heat, this is kind of how we expect it to feel, so we're ready to hit the rest. What does the, what uh, is the uh, rest strategy look like once you get through the final events today and uh, before tomorrow? 
I think just good sleep, good food, and uh, yep, come back tomorrow. That's simple, that's that's simple guys. You guys, you upset you didn't make it, make it at the end? Yeah, we got so close. I didn't even know that team was beside us. I was look, kept looking to the right. I thought there was a team on the right side. And then we take off running, and all of a sudden there's a team right here. I'm gonna wait. Uh, yes. <laughs> should, you maybe, should you maybe get like a bodyguard or something? I need a helmet. <laughs> How do we know? How do we know? They Who's have to be what? wearing a mayhem shirt. Okay. And we have, they have to prove they're a member. Okay. Wearing their Got mayhem. Can I see your app? Yes. Bro, we got somebody just sprinting across no. this map. Oh my god. Oh, I don't do cardio. I'm a weightlifter. Oh, dude. <laughs> Well, get the shirt now, wear it, <laughs> and then you'll be ready next time. Like, Show me that thing. You're a Haley fan? Yeah. Nice. Oh my god. Score. This is let's, so cool. Let's put it on right now. Okay. Aspiring competitor? Yes. Yes. And you think Haley's the bomb? Yeah. She's my favorite. Yeah, obviously. she's my favorite. Yeah. Good. Yeah, give me a front nice. flex. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> Sweet, congrats. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, you survived? Just sweating a little bit. All right. Activity good. detection. Tomorrow's going to be one of the drops, no timing given. It's going to be first five that come and do 25 air squats wearing a whoop. Hey, you guys know that we're rolling deep at the whoop booth selling all the mayhem apparel and the whoop gear, but inside of the WIT vendor pavilion. We got a bunch of our friends here as well. We're gonna go see Plunge, we're gonna go see Airwave. Come check it out. Boom, the homies from Cold Plunge are here. So they were kind enough to hook us up with a Plunge to actually have at the RV park so that we could have Rich dip in there and recover. Uh, it's also has, we've had one at the barn for probably months now. And Rich said it's one of the critical elements that has helped his recovery. Now, what's cool is they're gonna give one away to one of you guys. So I'm gonna tell you how to win that. So this is first time at the CrossFit Games. Yeah, this first time, first time with this community. It's, it's wild, right? It's blown away. Yeah. Like the the positivity, the just being welcomed in. Yeah, it's been and, incredible. And the response to the units has been cool. Dude, it's been. I mean, with, with Rich talking about it, yeah. everyone's like, "Dude, I've heard about this. Been wanting to do it. We've probably done 50 to 60 plunges." Oh, people are jumping in right oh, here. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We're getting people like throughout the last three days yeah. plunging. We had some dude in today for six minutes. No way. So, yeah. What temperature is that? We're sitting at 47 right now. Okay. So we're right there. I did 11 minutes at 50 last night, but it's no big deal. Yeah. So there is a post on Rich's Instagram right now. People are going there. They're following Plunge on Instagram and they're tagging a friend. And why are they doing that? Like, what's, what can they win? We're, we're straight up giving away a plunge. So this right here could be at your house, your gym, wherever you want it. Um, we'll take care of the shipping, everything. We'll ship it right out to you. So on Rich's page, follow us at, at the Doc Hole Plunge. Tag a friend, and we'll ship it out. All right, so twisted my arm, talked me into doing a cold plunge in the middle of the day. It's like 100 degrees outside, so why not? I'm gonna put on the fancy loner shorts. <laughs> Let's go. Six minutes. So I don't know if it's a competition or what. Oh. Yeah. Boom, here it is. Six minutes plus, Rory's gonna take the lead. Most in. Oh yeah. We go all the way in? It's up to you, man. Okay, all right. It's up to you. Let me shit here. Pretty cozy right there. All right. So right now we're sitting at 47 degrees. Okay. Well, I like to get your hands in. There you go. All the way in. Oh yeah, this guy's a real deal. Oh, IG Live? All right. Yeah. What now, IG Live? <laughs> <laughs> Give me something else. I'm going to head under. Doesn't even matter. Mark that time. Mark that time. All right, yo, if you're on site, seven minutes is the new record set by yours truly. Come and get me. All right, if you watch any of our content, you're always asking, what's that thing hanging out of Rich's mouth? Well, we're going to show you the Airway Performance mouthpiece. I've actually got one, and people are like, oh, is it just hype? Is it not? Like, I feel like it's my binky. Like, I can't live without it. When I don't have it for my workout, I feel wrong. But anyways, let's go talk to these guys. Yeah, Rich has been incredible for us. Uh, just in general, like, having someone like Rich is awesome, but some, if someone wears it, like he loves it and loves the product, you can't ask him more. Yeah. And, then, and just the way that he wears it throughout everything. You know, as you know, he's talking about lifting only in it. Yeah. Uh, but he grabs it on his own and kind of grew on him. And yeah. now he plays flag football in it. So, yeah. you know, what can, like, you can't ask for more. It's been an incredible, incredible giveaway. So, yeah. like, a lot of our favorite brands, uh, like, uh, 
have contributed and we're so instead of doing the like online thing where like you never really know if someone actually wins we're physically going to give this away twice oh, like fifteen hundred dollars and stuff we got whoop in there you guys know whoop right uh, we got rpm jump rope it's pretty sweet wags and weights and stuff uh glitter sunglasses i mean you can't go better than uh these guys uh you know you gotta look good sometimes uh but in general it's it's really cool stuff and uh like 1500 dollars and stuff sweet and, like physical stuff so people what do they come here and they, they come, come here. here and you don't even have to do a physical fitness challenge because everybody else is doing that you just literally have to after you've done those put your name and email and you get credit so, all right yeah cool. you're on site come see here with yep i'm gonna hide talking? i'm gonna hide it in a location Ooh, I like this, this video is gonna publish tonight okay. tonight is thursday so the people who are watching this thursday friday on sometime at friday we're gonna post to the main on social channels, we will hide this somewhere on site, yep. and you can come find it. Yep, and there's four airways in it. It's like 250 bucks worth of stuff. Let's open it up. Boom. Just to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in 2013, I uh, when that boy, uh, when our eight-year-old was born, um, you know, I was thick and, and overweight, and I just had this feeling like, like I, I, I gotta shake this. Um, my family's DNA is thicker and overweight and, and unhealthy the older we get. I wanted to dive in. Obsessed? I became obsessed. Yeah. I wanted yeah. to make it to the games. Uh, so we actually, tr I, I, I tried as a 40 year old and I missed. Tried as a 41 year old and missed. And we actually came out to watch the games in 2017 here, first time in Madison. And I couldn't even go to the age group events. I couldn't even watch them. I was just salty. I wanted yeah. to be there so bad. 2018? I made it. Like I, I snuck in under the radar. Like 13th, lucky number 13. And I and I did okay. And everyone was like, ah, you'll totally make it next year. Like, are you gonna plan are you planning to go back to the games next year? Dude, it's really hard. It's really hard to get to the games. And the next year they cut it down to 10. So my chances as a 43-year-old of making to the games was thin. And again, I snuck in in seventh place, came and won. Um, totally unexpected. I would, just, I would have been happy to stand on the podium, really happy, uh, was fortunate enough to win. The highlight of the games was that I felt well trained. I felt prepared for every single event. I, um, you know, I've been working my tail off and mayhem programming has been incredibly difficult for the past two, three months. Like the volume has been totally. insane, questionable, uh, questioning what I'm doing. Like I'm, this is so hard in training. Then, when it came to every single event, I, I outperformed what I thought I could. Because performance is different than training, and I, totally. I'm constantly reminded, like, when I'm performing, this is different than training.
in history for a team to have a perfect first day. I mean, what do you think about that? But it's incredible to watch them tweak it and just, that's what he does. He yeah. knows how to tweak it. But the crowd, like he said, that got him going. So that was the best. How proud are you? Can you put it in words? A little. <laughs> I'm proud of who he is and how he keeps everybody going. He keeps them, he's good at it. He's a good man. He's good at it. Let's go, eat, let's go eat some food. Let's get some food. I mean, it was so nerve wracking. Will you come in here real quick? And you saw his neck. He's bleeding. You see his blood on his shirt? Come in here real quick. <laughs> no, it was, it was a great day. I think we were just talking like, Rich has had so many moments and has done you know, so many things that have been so memorable and provided such you know, great entertainment for the fans. That is going to definitely be one that I think people remember for a while. Like, yeah. It's cool that at this point in his career, he can still he can still do that. And, you know, Andrea as well. I think to, she deserves the credit, really. That, that was, was the biggest, That was like, fantastic. I'm telling you, that phoning yeah. moment. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. I mean, Top five of all time. I think that Rich has this, this capacity, right? I mean, yeah. he, he knows. He knows what he's doing, and he sees the feel overall, and he acts accordingly. And yes. That's, that's why he's Rich Froning. So sweaty. My hands were sliding the entire time. You just couldn't do it. That, that was the whole thing. At, at one point, I looked over, and Andrea was up on her hands, and she had a snot rocket from her nose to the floor. I was like, that's impressive. The plan was to be so far ahead that we didn't have to go seven. But that didn't happen. Did you know that you were going to pass him coming off the wall walks? Uh, I had an idea if I could hold on to seven. Because, I mean, four and three was about perfect. But the last couple reps were starting to get a little shaky on the triceps. Uh, but I knew that they were taking a lot. We were a lot faster on the thrusters. They were a lot faster on the wall walks. And so I knew they were gonna have to break it into three sets. Like, they, there's no way they could have went for seven. So I looked at Andrea and I was like, we going for seven? And she's like, let's try it. And I had to calm her down for a second to make sure we'd make the seven. But I knew once we got to five in the crowd, I was like, I gotta I do it now. Make a difference oh, in the crowd. Hell, hell yeah, nuts. yeah. You almost like lose feeling of your body. Like I, I I couldn't feel the last two reps, yeah. Said, yeah, right. yeah, when everybody play, started getting fired up, it game, was man. awesome. It was awesome, like, I, there's no way I would have done seven without all that crap. Like, I'm serious. There was no way. I just want to just touch you. You just... Hey, hey, how are you? This isn't my top five moments of all time in the CrossFit game. That was is fun. It? Absolutely. That, that crowd, crowd was far away. That crowd away. was cool. It was my Close. top team moment ever, and that was... That was fun. Yeah. That was... That's, I'm sorry, sorry. It's up there on one of mine. On just how fired up everybody was. That's one of the best crowd moments ever. Yeah, heck yeah. That was cool. What that did was, you say to her on the way to the bar bar? I was like, we're going to go for seven. And she was like... I was like, but slow down. Like, we don't need to rush it. Because if we rushed it, then it was... I mean, seven was... That was it. You know, like... <laughs> That's all I had. <laughs> you ain't got no missing. Ain't got nothing left. Congratulations, mister. Thank you. What do you think? Stoked. What are the highlights? <laughs> Perfect day. Um, how'd it go? It went good. Yeah. I was a little worried about the thruster, the 185, and then... Cause you dealt with it well, man. Yeah. They announced it. What, they announced it yesterday? Yeah. So I've just been thinking about that all day. Yeah. Not even the other events, <laughs> just the thruster. And then I finally got to hit it before the event in practice. Yeah. And I did five unbroken, so I, I knew I had it. And then we decided to break it up. 3-2 in the workout and then send it on the last round. What was the highlight of the day? That must have been it, just getting through that barbell? For me, the highlight was going unbroken on the last set. Yeah. But the overall highlight was watching Andrea and Rich go unbroken and everybody screaming That's and pretty insane. winning it within seconds there at the end. Insane. Yeah. Oh, you're so stoked too. Yeah, excited. <laughs> Were you he nervous watching? A little bit. A little, little bit. When he missed that, like he said. But I knew this guy was going to go unbroken on the end, so yeah. I wasn't really worried about it. <laughs> All the pressure on Rich. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He can handle it. Yeah. Chase, maybe not as much. Second one, too. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, God. That was bad. That was bad. Oh! Nice. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
Hey, okay, how good. was my yeah. coaching on you? It's true. Honestly. You wanted to touch me. You wanted to do the all in the hips thing. <laughs> you were trying to do the all in the hips swing thing. Man. Uh, and it what you did. did it work? Yeah. Did it work? Here. It's all in the hips. That's what you're going for. <laughs>